Yo, yo, what's going on, YouTube? Yeah, today's video, like I said, you can see in the title and all that stuff, I think I might have found the best compressor. I think I know this is the best compressor of all time. It's super versatile. Um, you know, if you haven't checked my last video, which is what the song in this video is going to be about, I basically break down this entire session. I remix the whole song from like three years ago now yeah like three years ago yeah if you haven't checked that out go check it out i go with super in depth on why i'm doing the things i do and my template my routing and all that stuff so if you haven't seen that i'll link it somewhere up here in the video um go check it out um and if you're not subscribed please subscribe please like please share i think as of this video i just checked there's like 600 of you there's 600 of you that aren't subscribed but you do return to my videos which is nice um, but it would be nice, you know, if you just drop a subscribe, you're coming back anyway. So you might as well, um, you might as well subscribe and get notified for my next video. But anyways, yeah, let's jump into today's video and then I'll let you know what we're doing. Let's start with bass. Um, I'm going to start off with just doing my typical settings basically, which is putting it in opto mode. And for this unit to go into opto mode, uh, you have to put the attack in 10. So basically this, then the release needs to be at zero. So there's that. So now technically it's an opto mode. Basically now it's working something similar to an LA-2A where it has a fixed attack and release. And then I would kind of just, oh, another thing that I do is I put this in link mode. Someone told me about this um, and I also read about it or like watched a video, I can't remember on specifically why, but there is something going on, I believe, with uh, putting it in link mode. Or maybe it's just a placebo, I don't know. But there's definitely like a small difference. And then just honestly, the way I remember my settings is red, red, and red. So I use the third distortion. This has different uh, types of distortion built in, which is super nice. And then obviously if I was using the um, hardware, you know, you know, I would have both hands and I would be adjusting the input and output at the same time just to compensate. And then let me shut up and I'll bypass it. So let me compensate now for all the people that want to, want the output compensated. So let's see, we'll do it in real time. Yeah, I mean, you can, it's, 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 um, you know, it's a little, uh, what's it called? It's definitely has a lot of character. I mean, you know, if you really listen, you can hear the, um, transients of the bass of, you know, whatever there is like really getting tucked down. Like, obviously, you know, I'm compressing pretty heavy, but you know, to be honest, it's actually sounds really good in my opinion. Like I do like to compress a little bit more on the way in. Um, but you can also hear that distortion too. There's just a slight bit of distortion that's getting added to the bass. And um, like I said, like the transients are, you know, getting tighter, but um, I don't want to say smash, but they're definitely getting clamped down. But, it, you know, like I said, it sounds really good. So I'll shut up and then uh, play it and then bypass it. But like I said, really listen for that distortion and those transients. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what it's doing, but like I said, um, it just, that what I'm trying to explain is what I hear and what I like about this unit and whatever you add this to, um, you know, it just sounds really fucking good, basically. Um, but yeah, let's jump over to the drums now. All right, so for drums, I'm gonna do the same thing. Let's start off with my setting and see how we like it, basically. So, opto mode, 10, zero, put it in link and then distortion three, and then let's just hit play. And yeah, obviously we gotta compensate that output. So 
let's start here. I would say that's pretty close. But yeah, same thing. I mean, you can really hear it on the kick, like the distortion. There's a little bit of distortion on the kick. Like I said, if you're listening on good headphones or good speakers or whatever, and you trust your um, room, you you will definitely hear the little bit of distortion. It's Like I said, it's mostly like on those uh, initial transients, you know, which makes sense because obviously that's the... The, the main thing that's hitting the compressor, but that's what's nice about it, and I think that's what I like about the unit. You know, obviously there's a little bit of click on the kick, um, for sure, but it's like that, you know, that transient click. It's, you know, it could be a bad edit in the um, sample, or maybe that's just how they sampled it, but that is definitely being enhanced. And then, yeah, let me demonstrate the mix knob. So let's say like we wanted to do something crazy. So let's say, let's put this in nuke mode, which is basically how it sounds. It's just gonna pulverize the signal. Let's do something crazy. Let's do like 10. Obviously you can hear that distortion. Let's use this as an example to go filter through the distortions. So that's distortion two. Distortion three. And you should be able to link both. Oh, then you can high pass. Forget, yeah, so you can high pass um, into the distortions, which is pretty cool. So no distortion. High pass. Distortion two. And distortion three which is obviously the more aggressive one, which is like I'm saying why I think, obviously, it's, it, you know, it's definitely more of the aggressive distortions in the unit, and which is definitely probably why I can hear the distortion because I'm using the most aggressive setting, it sounds like, but that's what I like about it. Um, I like having that option, and I like the, just a little, like I said, the little bit of distortion. It just always helps, like, it always helps cut through. So in this case, let's say like we like this, like we wanted to kind of go for like a distorted, aggressive setting, and now we can just use the mix knob to do like a parallel. So yeah, definitely you can hear the snap um, in the drums is extending a little bit more. There's a little bit more, you know, release on the um, snap. And the kick as well, doing the same thing, but you're getting that little bit of distortion, which is kind of cool. So yeah, that sounds pretty cool to me. Um, let's try, let's try, let's do vocals now. Okay, here's vocals. Same thing, let's start off with my setting and see how far we can get with it. So, oh, it looks like I already, oh yeah, so I do have it set because like I said, if you haven't seen my video that I last posted um, about mixing the song, you'll see that obviously I'm using these settings, so it's already set. I can't even find a boo, ain't comfortable, so petrified, it's palpable. Good for pals, but how to do romantics is some antics I was never taught. I value love in every heart, forever be scarred from fencing, I was never on guard. I fought the good fight, yeah, I, mean, I second my win. I mean, just, dude, it just sounds good. Like, if that doesn't sound good to you, then, I don't know, you're fucking crazy. This thing sounds so good. Like, just doing that, like, made it more exciting. I can't even find a boo, ain't comfortable, so petrified, it's palpable. Good for pals, but how to do romantics is some antics I was never taught. I value love in every heart, forever be scarred from fencing, I was never on guard. I fought the good fight, I second my win, I slept in my skin and snoozed my alarm, my ass- I mean, it's just like clamping down on the vocals, like, so nicely, though. Like, it's not like, you know, for sure, it's, it's, I would say it's on the edge of being a little too compressed, but- 
it just sounds really good. Like it doesn't, it's not like smashing in, it's not sucking the life out of it or anything. It's just kind of clamping down on the vocal. And like I said, it's just adding a little bit of edge with that distortion basically. And you know, same situation. Like if you, if you really like the setting, but you know, in this case, like I just mentioned, maybe it's a little too much on the edge, but I really like the setting. Then you can just use the mix knob, which is really cool. I can't even find a boo. Ain't comfortable. So petrified. It's palpable. I would assume this Good is 50%. Pals, how to do romantics is some antics I was never taught. I value love in every heart. Forever be scarred from fencing. I was never on guard. I fought the good fight. I second my win. I slept and in my skin blend it in and slowly my alarm. And my ass got comfortable. The compression now is I feel affecting like the vocals, the basically. The way I'm pinning it, this referee gonna make it to Ted. I still ain't budging. Who could ever take me? I'm still a dreamer, you can't ever break me. Lately, it's been hard to fight against complacency. I'm making decent money. Remember when I was bumming it? Yeah, I don't know. And now it just sounds really fucking good. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure like Greg Wells or something or somebody, or was it was it Greg Wells or Eric Valentine? Somebody was using a pair of the like somebody at that caliber was using a pair of distressors on their uh mix bus or maybe it was 1176s i can't remember it was one of these two but uh i haven't tried it on uh mix bus or whatever maybe if i get two units which i do plan on getting at least two in the future maybe that's something i'll try or whatever i'd be curious i'm sure it would sound really cool um but anyways yeah so that's pretty much it you know just trying to do a quick little video basically um i didn't want to go too long because a lot of my last videos have been really long just trying to you know, get to the point and stuff. But like I said, if you haven't checked out my last video, I uh, fully break down the song. So go check that out. You know, if you want to see how I work and, you know, how I'm thinking when I work and stuff and like my template and all that stuff and my routing and whatever and why I do the things I do and why I use certain plugins, like definitely go check that out if you haven't already. And, um, you know, if you're new, um, please subscribe, like, share. And if you're returning, I see I have like, I think I checked today, at least at this video, I have like 600 people that return to my videos, but none of you guys are subscribed. So <clears throat> if you can do that, we can get to like a thousand subscribers. So I'll see you guys next time.